The sum of four consecutive odd integers is 136. What are the four integers? So before even attempting to tackle it, let's, let's think about what it means to be a consecutive odd integer, what four consecutive odd integers could be referring to. So we could start with, let's say we had three, the next odd integer. So we want consecutive odd integers. We want the next odd integer would be five, then the one after that would be seven, and then one after that would be nine. These are consecutive odd integers. Another example, we could start at 11, then the next odd integer is 13, the next one is 15, the next one is 17. The example of non-consecutive odd integers, if someone went from three straight to seven, these are not consecutive. The next integer, the next odd integer, I should say, after three is five, not seven. So these are examples of consecutive odd integers. These are not consecutive odd integers. So with that out of the way, let's actually try to tackle this question. And I encourage you to pause this video right now and try to tackle this on your own before I, 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 I take a go at it. Well, as you can imagine, a little bit of algebra might be handy here. So let's, let's let x define, let's let x be equal to the smallest, smallest of the four, of the four. So if x is the smallest of the four integers, of the four consecutive odd integers, if x is the smallest of them, how can we express the other three in terms of x? Well, let's just use this, these examples right over here. If that is x, then how would we express this in terms of x? Well, this would be x plus two. The next, the next odd integer is going to be the previous odd integer plus two. You're essentially skipping the next number, which is going to be even. So if you added one, you just get to an even number. So you have to add two to get to the next odd one. Well, if you add two again, not, if you add two to x plus two, well, now you get to x plus four. You add two to that, you get to x plus six. And you see that, again, right over here. If this was x, then this is x plus two, this is x plus four, and this is x plus six. So in general, if x is the smallest of the integers, we can define the other three as x plus two, x plus four, and x plus six. And so we, let's take the sum of them and set that equal to 136 and then solve for x. So the smallest one is x. Now the next smallest one is going to be x plus two. Now the next the one after that's going to be x plus four. And then the one after that is going to be x plus six. So this is the sum of the four consecutive odd integers. And they tell us that that is going to be equal to 136. This is equal to 136. And now we can just literally solve for x. We have just one unknown here. So let's, let's add these x terms together. So we have one x, two x's, three x's, four x's. So we can rewrite those literally as four x. And then we have two plus four, which is six, plus another six is 12. Four x plus 12 is equal to 136. So to solve for x, a good starting point would be to just to isolate the x terms on one side of the equation or try to get rid of this 12. Well, to get rid of that 12, we'd want to subtract 12 from the left-hand side, but we can't just do it from the left-hand side. Then this equality wouldn't hold anymore. If these things, two things were equal before subtracting the 12, well, then we gotta, if we want to keep them equal, if we want the left and the right to stay equal, we got to subtract 12 from, the, from both sides. So subtracting 12 from both sides gives us, well, on the left-hand side, we're just left with 4x. And on the right-hand side, we are left with 136 minus 12 is 100 and 120, 124. Did I do that right? Yeah, 124. So what is x? Well, we just divide both sides by four. We can divide both sides by four, by four to solve for x. And we get x as being equal to, then the same original color, x is equal to 124 divided by four. So let's see, 100 divided by four is 25. 24 divided by four is six. 25 plus six is 31. And if you don't feel like doing that in your head, you could also, of course, do traditional long division. It goes into 124, four goes in, doesn't go into one, four goes into 12 three times. Three times four is 12. You subtract, bring down the next four. Four goes into four one time. You get no remainder. So x is equal to 31. So x is the smallest of the four integers. So this right over here, x is 31, 
x plus 2 is going to be 33. x plus 4 is going to be 35. And x plus 6, x plus 6 is going to be 37. So our four integers, our four consecutive odd integers are 31, 33, 35, and 37.